Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Advantage Report. Today we've got some groundbreaking news that's set to revolutionize the future of transportation. Imagine a world where your taxi doesn't have a driver, buses drive themselves and robots mingle at parties. Well, that future is closer than you think. Tesla has just unveiled its latest innovation, the Cybercab, and it's turning heads everywhere. Picture a smaller, sleeker, two-seater version of the Cybertruck packed with the futuristic tech that's about to redefine urban mobility at the flashy We Robot event held at the Warner Brothers' Discovery Studio. This past Thursday, Elon Musk didn't just talk about the future, he showcased it. As he walked onto the stage, a cybercab greeted him with its gullwing doors opening effortlessly. The vehicle then performed a short demo, gliding smoothly around the meticulously maintained streets of the Hollywood studio lot, completely unsupervised. So supervised for self, full self-driving is actually working quite well. For, I'm sure there's people in the crowd, you, you're using that, uh, yeah? So it, we'll move from supervised full self-driving to uns, unsupervised full self-driving, where the car, you could, you could fall asleep and wake up at your destination. So, uh, but there's also a challenge uh, for a lot of people that uh, cars cost too much. I mean, when you factor in everything that goes into a car and the car insurance and the car payments and the storage of the car, it's, uh, it's very expensive. So with, uh, and, and you say like how often are, what, how many hours a week are cars used? Your average passenger car is only used about 10 hours a week out of 100, 168 hours. So the vast majority of the time, cars are just doing nothing. But if they're autonomous, they could be used, I don't know, five times more, maybe, maybe 10 times more. So you could actually, for the, the same car, would have five times as much value, maybe, maybe 10 times as much value. It's, it's there's 100, 168 hours in the week, and like I said, only 10 of them are used for driving. So, and then, and then a bunch of those hours are looking for a parking spot, which is, you know, can be pretty annoying at times. So, so we want, with autonomy, you get, you get your time back. This is a very big deal. So it's, it's not just a save, like, it'll, it'll save lives, like a lot of lives, um, and prevent injuries. I, I think we'll see autonomous cars become 10 times safer than a human. Um, I mean, if you, if you think of times past where there were, there used to be an elevator operator in every elevator, uh, but, uh, once in a while, they get you know they get tired, and uh, they accidentally show somebody in half. Uh, you know, so, so now we have automated elevators. You just get in an elevator and you press a button, and you don't even think about it, and it just takes you to the floor. And if you did see an elevator operator with a big relay switch, you'd be like, "That's weird." Um, now that's that's how cars will be. Um, and, and it's not just the, the lives saved in injuries, but if you look at the, think about the cumulative time that people spend in a car and the time that they will get back that they can now spend, well, I guess on their phones <laughs> or, or, or watching a movie uh, or doing work or whatever you want to do. Um, you can think of the, the car in an autonomous world as being like just a, a, a little lounge. You're just sitting in, in a comfortable little lounge and you can do whatever you want while you're in this comfortable little lounge. And when you get out, you will be at your destination. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So, Musk made some bold predictions that have everyone buzzing. He reiterated his vision that the cost of autonomous transport will become so low it will feel like individualized mass transit. He confidently stated that the average operating cost of the cybercab will eventually be around just 20 cents per mile. And here's the kicker, you'll be able to buy one yourself for under $30,000. But that's not all. Musk also revealed his expectations for Tesla's full self-driving capabilities. We anticipate starting unsupervised FSD in Texas and California next year with the Model 3 and Model Y, he announced. While he admitted that he's been overly optimistic with timelines in the past, he projected that the Cybercab would enter production by 2026 or before 2027 at the latest. The excitement at the event was off the charts. Fans erupted in cheers when Musk mentioned they'd get the chance to test out the cybercabs firsthand. 
Imagine being among the first to experience a fleet of 27 cyber cabs driving around an entire lot, completely driverless. One attendee described it as surreal, watching these vehicles navigate without any human input. An intriguing feature of the cyber cab is its lack of a traditional plug-in charger. Instead, it utilizes inductive charging, a form of wireless charging that adds to the vehicle's futuristic appeal. No more fumbling with cables. Just park and let the car charge itself. But Tesla didn't stop there. In a surprise reveal, Musk introduced the Robovan, a sleek autonomous bus designed to carry up to 20 people or transport goods. While no specific timelines were given, Musk hinted that such vehicles could change the look of the roads, envisioning a future where driverless vans seamlessly integrate into our daily commutes. Adding another layer to the spectacle, Tesla showcased about a dozen Optimus humanoid robots. These aren't your typical robots, they're designed to act as friends and helpers, each potentially costing around $20,000 to $30,000. At the event, they mingled with guests, danced like go-go dancers and even mixed drinks. Attendees were astonished as the bots engaged in conversations, switching accents and voice personas on command. Now let's delve deeper into what this all means. The Cybercab isn't just another electric vehicle, it's a cornerstone in Musk's long-term strategy for um, autonomous transportation. Back in 2019, he envisioned a fleet of dedicated robotaxis, accessible via a Tesla ride hailing app. The idea is twofold. Tesla owners could add their vehicles to the fleet to earn extra income when they're not using them, and Tesla would operate its own fleet of purpose-built robotaxis, like the Cybercab. Musk believes that robotaxi rides could cost less than public transportation, making it accessible to a broader population. He famously said, by the middle of next year, we'll have over a million Tesla cars on the road with full self-driving hardware, feature complete, at a reliability level that we would consider that no one needs to pay attention, meaning you could go to sleep. While that timeline proved ambitious, the unveiling of the Cybercab brings Tesla one step closer to that autonomous future. The vehicle's design eliminates traditional controls like steering wheels and pedals, emphasizing its fully autonomous capabilities. This design choice does present regulatory challenges, as it currently doesn't comply with federal vehicle safety laws in the US. Tesla will need to navigate these hurdles to bring the Cybercab to market. On the tech front, Tesla's approach relies solely on cameras for environmental perception, a strategy that has its skeptics. Many industry experts argue that the combination of sensors, including LiDAR and radar, is necessary for true level 4 autonomy, despite criticisms. Tesla uh, continues to push forward with its vision-only approach, updating its full self-driving software and hardware to inch closer to full autonomy. The potential impact is enormous. Musk's claim of an average operating cost of 20 cents per mile is a game-changer, as it undercuts not only traditional ride-hailing services, but also the cost of personal vehicle ownership when factoring in fuel, maintenance and depreciation. This low operating cost could make autonomous transportation more accessible, potentially well, transforming urban mobility. And let's not forget the Optimus robots. If Tesla can deliver on making advanced humanoid robots at an affordable price, we could be looking at a future where robots assist in homes and businesses, changing the way we live and work. So what does all this mean for us? It suggests that the future we have often seen in science fiction is steadily becoming a reality. Autonomous vehicles roaming the streets, robots assisting in daily tasks, and a transportation system that's efficient, affordable, and sustainable. Alright, that's all for today's deep dive into Tesla's latest innovations. What do you think about the Cybercab, the Robovan, and the Optimus robots? Are you excited about this autonomous future? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest in AI and tech innovations, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to AI Advantage Report and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the incredible world of AI.